Hello and welcome to episode 13 to Road to Max series. Uh, this episode we're probably going to do some bossing, hopefully. Um, most likely do some skilling, because I want to get some more Elite Diaries done. Um, and Zaya will be coming very soon, so hopefully we can uh, show some of that. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Starting off episode 13, we are getting 84 farming, so we, now we can do quadruple U roots, which is just pretty epic. One more level till 85, which is a pretty nice milestone. And yeah, I'll see you guys very shortly with what I'm do whatever I'm doing next. I know some of you didn't really want me to show getting tasked, but I've skipped a few, but um, yeah, when I get something like this, like Smoke Devils for the first time, I will be showing it. So you guys can see if I actually get a drop, or if we actually just get jack shit. So if it's a boss test or something exciting, I will let you know. There we go, there's our first rare-ish drop, I guess you could say. Um, we've had Dragon Skim and two, oh nice, 800k, and two, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Ancient Staffs, which are rare drops, but it's not, um, the rare drop like this we are looking for, but hell yeah. Doing some mining, there is 75, that is a nice little achievement we got there, and we actually got the gem bag, which is nice. Shit, I didn't even realize how close I was to a magic level, but I guess I just got 97. Like, not too bad. But I actually, uh, in the beginning of this task, I, this is like my second Kraken task, I want to say, I actually got two tridents in the same inventory, but I couldn't record it, unfortunately, because I was at work, and so yeah. I have two tridents in the bank that I can sell for my loot that's just sitting in my loot tab for now. But yeah, 97 magic. Ooh, that is a giant amount. But getting closer to a 99, hopefully we can get another pet or a nice drop. Doing some random fletching. There's level 88. Uh, two more levels so we can actually boost for the Desert Elite Diaries. And only the only other thing I believe we need for that is 91 thieving. So when we are 81, so 10 levels, which is uh, about 4 mil XP, which kind of sucks. And there is level 83 Herb Lord, but now we can make the magic mix, and that is really not useful to us, but yeah, I bought a bunch of Amelies and making some stamina potions, yeah, but I'm almost done if you can't see. And this one we are now getting level 85 farming, so now we can actually grow torsals without boosting, which is pretty nice. And I think we need uh, 91 farming for the highest level we need for the... Achievement diaries, if I remember correctly, and that's for the failure. And once I, if I can do that, um, then I'm able. To, the tree never dies there, and I get better ore from when I'm doing mother low mine. So yeah, that's a huge bonus if we get that. And the reward here. Ooh, that's an interesting three rares: Bandos Page, Rune Plate Lakes, and Guthix Kite. So yeah, 138k, not bad. Um, so yeah. Doing some hunter, there is 71, so now we can actually trap imps for when we go, because we actually have a spiritual creature task. I was going to run to the wilderness dungeon, get a few ecumenical keys. Now we can actually bank them so we don't have to risk our slayer helmet like we did that one time and lose it. Yeah. 72 hunter coming in, and uh, I think that's going to be the last level for now. Don't feel like doing it anymore, I hate hunter. But I am getting very close to 2k total. I saw I was close to a woodcutting level, so there is level 81, just decided to do this little magic tree we have here. 89 fletching coming in, and uh, I'm doing this because total level, 1997, three more levels until I can get into 2k world, so when I go to the Wilderness Guide Wars dungeon for doing, um, whatchamacallit, for getting keys and stuff, so I just kill my spiritual creatures there, that... 99% of the time no one will come and bother me just because PKers usually aren't that high and I noticed I was about 50k away So I got the level Um, I think we'll probably just do the rest with fire making I have the logs for it, but uh, Still that's kind of a boring skill. Oh, I might do this. That only take like 10 minutes uh, Maybe rune crafting. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I can't decide yet. Here we are finishing the Between a Rock quest. Um, did it because um, for the Wilderness Diaries I need to make a golden helmet. So yeah, let's go do that now. 
There's all the medium tests done for the wilderness. And now let's go and do the hard. Um, for the hard, let's see what we need for it. That's not that many. Um, we need to catch Black Sally, kill Chaos, which is easy. Easy, and I just need to get another oily rub, rod, which kind of sucks. All right, we finished the hard test and medium test. I kind of just skipped getting the medium test lamp, but here is 15k to rune crafting, and we're 900 XP, so might as well go get that. So we only need two more levels till 2k total. All right, this should be getting us to level 109 tier, so not too bad. Even though we still have that little bit of time left, call on shenanigans. 71 Scott 6k rune crafting, and we need ooh, 80k. That is a lot. But six levels until we are, are able to boost for Fremenic Elite Diaries, which will be pretty awesome, I'd say. So the levels we're going to be getting now are going to be just probably two levels fire making, or actually one level fire making and a farming level. And here is 86 farming, and we don't get anything, unfortunately. But yes, the uh, 367k to go. That uh, will be a pain in the ass, but after this, go and get. 48k uh, fire making, that will be 2k toll. And that should only be about 15 minutes, I'd say. I'm doing U logs just because it's significantly cheaper, and I'm not that, I don't have that much money. If I did buy uh, 85 for uh, the Mauritania diary, or is it? No, Candoran diary, so it's 85. Mauritania is 80. So I'll go do that, but I forgot my Brimhaven teleport, so let's grab that. And now we are finally 2k total. That is awesome at 195 million XP. Whew, just gonna finish this inventory for now. Um, then we're probably gonna go back to Slayer, get some, we can get five ecumenical keys now, which is pretty cool. And I have some inboxes in the bank, so we should be set for doing that. And then maybe if I can find someone, I'll do some Sarah, because I haven't done that in a long time and I kinda miss it. Or depending on our next Slayer task, we might get Aviancies or something. Then we might do some Armadale. There's our 180th hard clue for pretty much just the Alcables and, and Tellies, whatever. Lumber, lumberyard teleports, which aren't that good. So now we have a task of Anku, now let's go do that. Doing AFK fishing and level 92 coming in, so we have a lot to go. Yeah, I'm doing a bunch of stuff on my Iron Man right now, so kind of can't really do much on this. I just realized I uh, missed kill 600, but it was a uh, unholy symbol. So bank loot, if you, if I do say so myself. Uh, this trip's not going the best, but hopefully we can get something. I'm, I'm feeling it. I, I don't know what, but I'm feeling it. Well, then a nice little dragon pickaxe for us. Let's get out of here. Well, we sold our whole loot tab, and we end up with 42 mil with about one mil left over for this. Here we are getting 76 mining, doing a little AFKing, but yeah, not too bad, got a little bit to go. And level 87 farming, that is awesome coming in. And yeah, we got 400, and there's 700 kill count for uh, Cerberus now. Still, man, I, I don't understand, these drops do not like me here. But oh well, still making decent money, so can't really complain. But, um, how much do we even have left? We have 35 left, so I'll probably do a few more and hopefully we can get a drop. Get that help hopping, maybe never have to come back here, but we'll see. Alright, our last Cerberus kill for three torsal seeds. I'll take that. We only have a little bit left, um, so I'm just going to go finish them out here on the normal ones. And then we'll go get another task. Hopefully it will be a boss task and we can actually get a drop. But other than that, uh, I'm going to go back to Slayer for a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll do some more skilling. Um, I am really close to a fire making level because I do want to get 85 for the achievement diaries. And I want to work on the diaries and do some quests. I'm very close to a quest cape. I need 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 19 more quests. So, And a lot of those are actually really fast. I'm the only one it that's bad that I know of is um darkness of a hell of Al. so till we go and do that i will see you guys later and there's a drop of a steam battle staff for our task of uh whatchamacallit um greater demons yes those things and too bad it's not a spear but oh well last kill the task force drop so i'm not it's better than nothing 
And there's the souls being done. Uh, I did this for Barak Diaries. Yeah, 221 quest points. Almost there. Making history quest done on my main. And there is that Some amazing XP. Yes, all that prayer XP we needed from that. And we don't need this key anymore. But yeah, um, we only need a few more quests until we're done with the kudos we need. Hazel Cove done. There's 225 quest points. Yeah, we're almost there, guys. And there's observatory quest done. Two more quest points. And we got uh, Sapphire now. Ooh, some bank loot. And now there's only a few more quests we need to do before we're all done. And there is all the Varrock Medium Diaries done. So now we can get, I think it's 30 battle staffs a day. And I'm working on getting all the kudos. The only things I need is a tail of two cats. And um, I think the other one is just getting the ghostly robes. But here we are again getting this. And now we have Varric Armor 2. And we're going to be oh, so used to putting on Herbal on Runecrafting. So 7.5k Runecraft. And getting closer to that quest cape, there is Monk's Friend done. Time to go do Clock Tower. Another very exciting quest is a Clock Tower quest, which is now complete. Okay, I thought this quest was going to be better, but no, it was god awful. But there's 2k crafting, 5k agility, and 1.5k construction. Yeah, Connor was very upset with the quest. And yet another quest grinded out. Scorpion Quetcher done. That leaves us with how many quests left? Two, four, six, eight. Ten left. So we're actually very close to a quest cape on this account. Last quest for the night done. There's 232 quest points. We are getting there. We are almost done. And I am going to bed now. I will see you guys next time I'm on. And there is 75 fire making coming in. So now we can actually do magic logs. But we're just going to be doing our 12k use we have. And that should get us uh, to 85. So we uh, had some fun at the duel, and look what we get, what we ended up with. Let's see if this will buy. No, I, I know it's going up. Um, let's see. Arc. Uh, I'm spelling that wrong. But yeah, so we can get the arcane, whatever. We'll just do that if I have enough. Nope, let's try just 82M. There we go. First time ever having one of those. But yeah, I was messing with my friend, telling him that I need my 5 mil back. Ooh, now we just have two of the three uh, spirit shields, only one left to go. So, I was here just doing some Callisto, and these people came, and we get the deep uh, 2H, which is awesome. Karma. Holy shit. A few kills later, dragon pickaxe. Are we going to be able to get the ring, or maybe the pet to finish it off? But yeah, someone else was here, and we got the kill over him again. Hell yeah! Holy shit, a few kills later we got the trees in the string with the guy. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Let's see, this is gonna be tough. I am on two accounts and at work right now. Let's see if we can do this. Fuck, this is getting close. Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it one more level? One more? Yes, we got it. We got it. Whew, that was pretty close there. I did. That was being very, very lucky. And with this tree, we are getting level 88 farming. And now actually with that, we could boost up to 91 to get the uh, magic roots for the Fel Feldor Diaries. Um, which 
all we the only thing we need else is getting those white knight kills and 88 rune crafting which is going to be kind of a pain in the ass but we are working on rune crafting we are 72 and if once we get 77 it's actually more afk able with Zaya now i haven't actually gone into Zaya because there's no really need for me to go yet and i forgot to buy my battle staffs but yeah so very nice get in there this is definitely new best 110 that is awesome for a hundred shark drop that is almost we're almost one minute to uh just a one minute kill i can't wait and there's 800 kill count of zora i'm just gonna do one more just because we have the dose with us but yeah 800 kill count then we're gonna go and do some i don't know yet doing some crafting now there is 78 coming in i still think it's kind of funny how i've gotten 85 on two iron men but still not even 80 on my main and there is a tale of two cats done uh we get mysterious box which is going to go on rune crafting of course but yeah that is definitely done and now we only need to do a few more things for the varic diaries and there's all the hard uh diaries done or hard diaries for varic at least and i'm actually pretty close to being able yes laziness has fast to being able to do the elite all i need is one more uh rune crafting with a boost uh, which I'm going to be putting this 15k on it, so there'll be 22k left. So we get that now. So rev antique lamp, put it on there. So yeah, only 22k. Two levels of this one, which won't be hard. Then a plus three, plus five, and plus five. And then we will go and finish uh, Varric Elite. 84 Airblower coming in, and only one more level till we can boost up for Varric Elite. Ah, uh, here we are with 85 Airblower. And now we can make a Zamrock mix, and now we're going to go boost for uh, getting 90 air blower. Then we're actually we're going to go get the rune crafting first, which is only 22k, so it won't be bad. But then boost, boost, and boost. And then once we get that, then we'll have Varrock Elite done. And now we are able to boost for 78 uh, rune crafting, which is for the Varrock Elite Diaries. I, I can't talk. Um... Then we only need four more levels actually for uh, boosting for what you might call it, Fremenic Elite, which would be awesome to get. And then we can get those no dagon off the bones. But okay, time to go get some boost. Um, I actually have to um, make my overgrown kit into Wily kit so I can get this stuff better. But let's go do this. And there we are. We finished the Elite Diaries for Varak. That is awesome. It. I was actually going, I got my Herblor boost, the plus five, and two, two of them, and then the smithing was not very long after that, and then for getting the room crafting, it took me over an hour, I was probably about 35 boost dry, which just, it was miserable, then I, I went 28 orange dry, and then on that last one, I got the boost. But there we are, Varric Armor 4. We can now buy 120 battle steps a day, which is awesome. That is a free 200k. See, there we go. Oh, no, not, no, not, no. Um, but yeah, we are going to end the video here. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed. It was a lot of work put into this. And I will see you guys next time.